This is an audio test without sound treatment. This is an audio test with sound treatment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, Alex Ide here and this is Dynamic Queens Productions and I'm a cinematographer and this channel is focused on teaching startup YouTubers and startup content creators how to create the best possible videos the easiest way possible. Now, audio quality is one of the most important parts in any video and audio quality is the most important part in a podcast or a music video. You can have the most impressive visuals for a video but if your audio quality sucks, that's going to completely throw off the viewer and it's going to just make your video production drop. And often, video creators and content creators do not know how to get the best quality audio for their videos or music videos or, or podcasts without having to go and spend absurd amount of money to get mics and sound panels. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you three tips on how you can get the best quality sounding audio without having to break the bank. Now, the first tip is sound treatment. Now, before you just go into, into a, any room and just start recording for your podcast or, or your YouTube video, you have to first check how is the sound bouncing off the walls? Is there any echo in my room or any echo when I'm recording? And how do you do this? It's just a simple step. You go into your room and you clap. If your room has an, a large amount of echo, you're going to hear the clap bounce off and come back to you. It's going to sound like a very echoey, empty space. Here's an example. This echo sound is caused by large open spaces where maybe like your empty room or something else, your empty room, your, your, your parlor, or basically if you're in a room that has open doors which leads to other empty spaces, these can cause echo sounds. A room is going to be echo if there are not enough things to absorb the sound. The sound keeps bouncing off the walls and coming off back to you. That's how echo is created, right? An easy fix to this is simply bringing in stuff like rugs, tiles, duvets, um, thick clothing, um, rugs, curtains, thick curtains, not any curtains, thick curtains. All these things absorb sound and when you place these things in, in your room, they often help to dampen the sound or dampen the audio so the audio doesn't go off bouncing everywhere. But basically you want to bring these clothing close to you to where the sound, where you they, they won't be able to enter into your video if you're making a video and it's still going to be able to absorb that sound before it starts to travel anywhere. Here's an example of a dampened sound. As you can see, I do have one and two different clothings right directly below me that absorb the sound as it's coming out of my mic. So they don't often bounce everywhere. So it sounds more crisp. It sounds less echo. And it's mostly for podcasters. Since it's not visual, you can literally just cover yourself with a duvet or like record your sound facing your duvet so that you won't have to face it up behind you. So the sound won't bounce back. Now, the second tip is mic placement. Now, if you do the first tip correctly, you'll notice that you're going to have better sounding audio, even if you have a phone. But even if you have the best sound treated room or the best sounding room, if you don't place your mic properly, you're going to get tinny and flat sound. But if you're somebody who doesn't have a mic, or you just have your camera without a mic, the best you can do is get as close as possible to that camera so that you're going to have the best sounding audio by, you know, the distance. Because if you, the further you go, the less your voice is going to be picked up. But if you're someone that has a microphone, like a lav mic, a shotgun mic, or a cardboard mic, you're going to want to know how to place this mic properly. The most popular mic being the lav mic, you need to clip this microphone around this area of your body or under your chin to get the best sounding audio. Some people do hold the mic like this in front of them, but you don't need to because lav mics are omnidirectional, which means that they capture sound in all directions. So like if it's here, it's picking up sound from all around here. So I don't need to hold it like that. It also frees up your hands so you can move and do other things. Shotgun mic is just like this mic right here. We need to have to place the mic directly in front of them or, the, or, or, or directly directed towards the mouth because these mics capture sound differently. If you want a separate video of me explaining how to use shotgun mics, leave a comment below and I'll make that video for you guys. Now the last tip is to invest in a good microphone. Now, if you're doing a podcast, a video, or YouTube video, or music, or making videos, or music, or whatever, investing in, in a good microphone will take you years and will take you a long way. Now, there are so many brands that do offer microphones, and some are very good and some are very bad. 
but for the ones I recommend for you, by the way, not sponsored, is this brand called Yellow Way for Love Mics. They're pretty good and they're quite affordable, and they do offer very good sound audio for the price. I mean, you're, you're listening to the mic right now, straight from the microphone, just raw like that. They come with two microphones, so you can have two love mics for the price of like maybe one for some brands, and you can channel these two love mics into one single port so that you get like two channel order. This is very good for podcasters who have guests or people that want to do a video with an interview they can use two different mics and have the same audio channel without having to have two separate channels now for shotgun mics i do recommend road they are one of the best brands affordable and they have a wide variety of mics to choose from love shotgun cardio any mic any mic you, you want they do have that kind of mic i'll leave the links in the description for you for you to play with and find the best one for you now hold up relax before you just go and buy a mic right now from the link in down below you have to know the right mic to get for what you you do for example a youtuber who needs a mic won't get the same mic that a podcaster would get because these mics like i said before do capture differently a lot of mic captures omnidirectional some do capture in bidirectional some do capture in only a straight line you have to know the mic to get for what you want to do if you want to see a video of me explaining the types of mic like cardio live and open directional and bi-directional and shotgun or and how they work do leave a comment below and tell me and i'll make that video for you guys but that's it for me guys i'm alex today this is dynamic productions and don't forget to like share and subscribe to this video and turn on the bell so you can get notified when i make another video do you use mic to record videos or not leave a comment down below if you want to see how to edit your current audio with software click on the video right here and i'll see you in the next one